Hey, and welcome to my channel where I work with latex. In this video, I'll share some tips on how to take care of your latex clothing so you can enjoy wearing them for years to come. Latex clothing is made of natural rubber, and while the latex sheets used for the clothing are usually vulcanized, meaning that they are treated against oxidation, the material still weakens over time. However, with proper care and storage, we can effectively extend the life of the garment, so here are some of my favorite tips and tricks. How to wash your garment. When you first receive your garment, it is most likely covered in talcum powder. This is to prevent the latex from sticking to itself. Before putting on your garment, you want to wash it first. Depending on the size of your garment, you can do this in a sink, a bucket or a bathtub. Here I'm filling a sink halfway with lukewarm water and dissolving a small amount of dishwashing detergent in it. Then I'm submerging the garment in the water and gently swirling it around. Gently rub the surface. You might want to repeat this couple of times and then rinse the garment with water. Next step depends on how you plan to get dressed in the garment. If you're going to use talcum powder, hang the garment to dry. You can also dry it with a lint-free towel if you have hard water, as it can leave a chalky residue behind once it dries. Speaking of hard water, be careful with washing light-colored latex, as it can get discolored from high mineral content in the water. Sometimes the latex can also look discolored or form these water spots while it's still drying. These will usually go away once the latex is fully dry. If you prefer using dressing aid instead of talcum powder, you can either hang your garment to dry and then spread the dressing aid on the garment before putting it on, or you can fill the container of your choice with water and add a small amount of dressing aid or polish in the water and then swill your garment around in this mixture. The reason I said dressing aid or polish is that most of the time they're pretty much the same thing, which is some sort of a silicon lubricant. Depending on the manufacturer, either of the polish or the dressing aid might have silicon mixed with some other ingredients that evaporates faster, leaving a thinner film of the silicone so it doesn't feel so sticky. Adding the silicone in the water does pretty much the same thing and helps to coat the garment evenly. Once the surface of the latex is coated, you can hang the garment to dry or use a lint-free cloth to remove the excess water. How to put on latex clothing. If you're using talcum powder, sprinkle some of it on the inside of the dry garment and spread it around. You can also spread the powder on your skin to remove excess moisture and make it easier to get into your garment. If possible, use pure talcum powder without added fragrances or other ingredients as these can contain oils that can degrade the latex. Make sure that the talcum powder is also medical or cosmetic grade. Then, with your hands or a lint-free polishing cloth, spread some latex polish on the outside of your garment. If you're using dressing aid, you can likely slip into your garment if you had treated it with the dressing aid after washing it. Adding some dressing aid on your skin helps the garment to glide against it. Your garment should be shiny from the outside too, but you might want to buff it with a lint-free, non-absorbent cloth and add more polish if needed. Be careful not to rip the latex with your nails. Try stretching the material with your whole hand instead of grabbing it with your fingers. If your nails are long, it is recommended to wear rubber or nitrile gloves while putting on your garment. How to store your latex. Proper storing is essential when it comes to maintaining your latex clothing. Once you have finished wearing your garment, you need to wash it again. Don't even think about putting it away without washing it, as the oils from your skin could slowly weaken the latex. 
In fact, all oily substances can degrade your garment, so be careful not to get any cosmetics like moisturizers, makeup, sunscreen or deodorant on latex. Repeat the washing steps from the beginning of the video and, depending on your method of storage, either air dry the garment and cover it with talcum powder entirely or repeat the process of coating it in dressing aid. Both of these methods prevent the latex from sticking to itself, but I personally prefer the dressing aid method because it adds an extra layer of protection when it comes to oxygen. As mentioned earlier, the latex is most likely vulcanized, which does make it withstand oxygen better, but the material still does get oxidized over time. More importantly, you want to protect your garment from direct sunlight. UV radiation can dry out the latex, turning it flaky and weak. I'm using garment bags that you can buy in bulk and storing my clothes separately. You can store some items with each other, but only store clothes that are the same color together to avoid discoloration. You can also store latex in a dark closet. Lastly, you want to be careful with jewelry or any accessories or coat hangers that contain metal, as some metals can discolor or even rot the latex. Those are my tips for taking care of latex clothing. I hope you found the video helpful, and if you have own tips to share, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you'd like to see more latex-related content, click the subscribe button and check out my channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time.